Hi guys, this is Syed. Welcome to British and Fruit. Guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make a kima buna with potato. Um, I'm going to use 500 gram chicken kima today. So let's start guys. First I'm going to add half a cup of cooking oil. Then I'm going to add some whole spice, cloves, cinnamon, and bay leaf. And if you have green cardamom, you can use green cardamom as well, but I don't have it today guys. Then I'm going to add whole cumin seeds, one teaspoon. Then I'm going to add garlic ginger paste, one tablespoon. Then I go here about uh, 200 gram chopped onion. I'm going to add salt, salt I'll add 2 teaspoons, salt to taste guys, you can adjust it. Now I'm going to let it cook until the onion has softened. You have to stir it professionally guys, otherwise uh, it might burn. I got enough oil to cook the onion, so that's why I'm also cooking on the low medium low medium heat. So if you're cooking on the high heat, might get burnt, so that's why you have to stir it. On my next step, I'm going to add this tomato. Um, I got here about two medium-sized tomato guys. I'm going to add the tomato. Let it cook until the tomatoes are softened. Then I will add the spice. Okay, just check. Now I will add a little bit of water. About half cup of water. Cook in high heat until the water dried. Then we can add the spice. Right now, I can add the spice, guys. Uh, first, I'm going to add a little bit of tomato puree. The tomatoes and, and the onions are soft and ready. The oil is on the top, as you can see. Now, we can add the tomato puree. Tomato puree, I'm using the tea ones. Can use any tomato puree. About two teaspoons. Next, we will let it cook for a few seconds, uh, about 20 30 seconds. Then, we will add the spice. Uh, first, I'm going to add coriander powder, uh, one and a half, let's say two teaspoons, guys. And came in, I'm going to add one teaspoon. I'm going to put the heat on low. Turmeric, one teaspoon. Chili powder, the heat is up to you guys. Uh, I'm using extra hot chili powder here, Eastern. I'm gonna add one, two, actually, two and a half. And 
and also some garam masala powder. And also I'm going to add uh, one tablespoon of butter ghee. I'm using here half tablespoon. And I added one tables one tablespoon of butter ghee. Right now I'm going to add the kima. Add about 500 gram chicken kima, guys. Put the heat on high. Mix it well. Have to cook the kima now. Also, I'm going to add some black pepper. A little bit of nutmeg powder. If you have it, that's optional. If you don't have it, you can you can skip it, guys. On the high heat, I make sure you have to. Stir it, mix it well to break it apart, guys. The kimas. As you can see, guys, the kima is getting separated and it's getting cooked. There's another, uh, there's another way you can do that guys, um, when I added the tomato, what you can do basically, you can add the kima before you add the tomato, so you can cook the kima with the onions, then when the uh, kima is cooked, you can add the tomato as well, then you add the spice after the tomatoes are softened, but I am doing the, uh, this way today guys, but this is totally up to you, you can do the other way as well. Right guys, now I'm going to add the potato. Also I'm going to add some green chili. Right, guys, now I'm going to add some kasuri methi lips. I'm adding some uh, mustard oil as well. About one and a half tablespoon. That's only for the flavor, guys. If you don't have it, you can skip it. If you don't like it, you can skip it, guys. Guys, now I'm going to add some water and leave it of water because of the potato. Uh, just submerge with the water, guys. And very quick on low, medium, low heat. Okay, so I'm going to add half lemon juice at the end.
guys is done let's check it's already done now it's ready to serve it's already to serve now we can finish up uh, you just need to check if the potatoes are cooked yeah and the oil is on the top as you can see it's raising on top so now I'm going to transfer it onto my serving bowl I'm going to do the taste test for chicken kimabuna now and I got takadala as well on the side dish so let's try guys there are some uh, gingers on the top to garnish So the heat is um, hot first. The side dish, check it out. It's perfect. Always kima is always nice, guys. Be happy with this side dish. Like check it out. Okay. Beautiful. So that's it, guys. Um, I, I hope you like this, guys. If you try the recipe and you can try with the um, lamb mincemeat as well or you can try with the chicken kima so that's it guys uh, please like the video if you, if you like the recipe press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and please join our Facebook group curry heaven so that's it guys hope to see you soon with a very new recipe guys bye bye